Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial series, we are going to learn how to connect a Java program with MySQL database or an Apache server. So what happens here it is that uh, Apache server will run and it, uh, it MySQL database will run uh, on this Apache server and I will create a Java program which will be connected to this MySQL database and Apache server. So I have split this uh, tutorial uh, into uh, different uh, sections so that you can go through easily. On the first video, I will give uh, the uh, yeah, installation procedure of localhost. So what is localhost? Localhost is nothing but making this PC, our our PC, our working PC, uh, uh, to serve it as a server. And I will use Apache server uh, in this PC to uh, run these. Um, make this uh, or make our PC localhost so in this first video we, will, we are going to learn this and if you know how to make your PC uh, 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 localhost uh, you don't have to see this video you can just move to this three uh, second video so in the second video we are we are going to write a Java program and the Java program uh, will be this Java program will be connected to our localhost so for that we uh, we will down I will download a JDBC connector for MySQL and uh, then I will connect that um, Java program through JDBC connector with the database and I will uh, simply write a SQL uh, structured query language to uh, insert data into the database and retrieve the data from the database. And in the third part of this video will be on a Java FX program. Uh, the Java FX program is nothing but uh, GUI program, uh, GUI program of Java. So in here, I will also I will repeat these uh, three process. And be, uh, I will download a JDBC uh, JDBC connector and I will connect the Java program with database and I will uh, insert data and retrieve data from the database. So uh, by these you can create a user interface of a java program and you will able to connect this uh, user interface based java program with the database and in the fourth part of the video i will show how to connect that java program instead of localhost to a remote server or online database so why do we need the uh, look uh, remote server and database i will also describe that in that in this part of the video so and uh, i will con try to continue this series by uh, so giving solution of different problem you will uh, face during this procedure or uh, uh, aftermath of this uh, program when you try to build a real java program for your personal use or commercial use it doesn't matter so uh, stay with me and i will try to give you the instruction how to do this and uh, thank you and i will uh, we will see i will see you in the next video